So I'll just an update today on my uh, mycelium and how it's doing. This is my shiitake and uh, these dowels have way exceeded anything I expected. It's less, I think it's less than a month. I can't really remember when my last video was, but somewhere around a month now I've had these shiitakes in and they've come right through the cardboard. You can see the mycelial wave flowing through. And there they are underneath. Look at that, just like Paul Stamets promised in his book, Mycelium Running. A mycelial wave coming out of that, that's the dowels that you inoculate your logs with. And now see, I'm uh, going to take this cardboard and I'm actually going to make a mycelial tower out of it. I'm going to stack more cardboard in here and then this can be propagated into some other mediums, wood chips or what, whatever. So once again, soaking the cardboard in the hot water, really hot water, for 10 minutes. Okay, now that we've soaked our cardboard for 10 minutes, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and create this mycelial tower and try and make my mycelium grow even more. Spread throughout some more cardboard. So we're going to plunk this off. And I'm going to tear this. There goes my original dowel. I think I'll keep that one right like it is. Tear this. Mycelial wave. Okay. Now I'm going to lay a nice new layer on the bottom. It's a little, could have soaked a little longer. Notice we put the corrugations. There's my completely new layer on the bottom. I like to maybe cover it a little better than that, but all right. Now I can move this little guy out of here again. Put him right back down where he was. Tear these. Put these down again. Now, I'll cover that whole bit there. Nice and thick like this. That is a little drier than I'd like to see, so I'll get rid of that one. Got lots of it here. There we go. We'll cover that up. top lots of cardboard ready here and again this is what's called a mycelial tower this was really thick cardboard so it needs a really long soak I'll put this original dowel right here, right where it was before. I might move that one over there. I'm running out of cardboard. I think you're getting the idea now. Here's some more of the old mycelial face. Put that down. I can even pull these apart because the mycelium you can see has gone right through the cardboard. 
always exposing the corrugations. You can lay others on top of it, but it's important that you expose the corrugations. Always has to be some corrugations. And there we go. There we have a mycelial tower. Now what I'll do is I'll just put a little water in the bottom to ensure that it's not going to dry out. Okay, the water won't hurt it. We need that water in there, it's going to soak it up. I should have really soaked this cardboard a little longer to be quite honest. And then that's going to be covered with the lid and put down again, down in a nice cool basement against a dark wall. Mine's underneath my stairwell, so. Okay, toss start.